I'm going to start uh, with this one, with this, uh, with the steroid hormone receptors, just to kind of uh, remind you that you have cell surface receptors. The first, the the three that we talked about prior to to uh, are all part of the cell membrane. You can have an intracellular receptor that's either in the cytoplasm or in the nucleus. Nevertheless, they're inside the cell. So that means the hormone that stimulates them has to cross at least the cell membrane, in some cases, the cell membrane and nuclear membrane. So steroid receptors, again, are a family of receptors. They include all steroid hormones. They include some other non-steroid hormones like vitamin D, retinoic acid, thyroid hormone. These are some other examples. However, everything is lumped in to one family of steroid hormone receptors because the mechanism of how they cause their cellular uh, responses are very similar. So, Here's where I want to spend a very, uh, uh, emphasize a very important point. Specificity again. I'm going to call this cortisol, a specific steroid, okay? It's going to cross the membrane. It's going to find this receptor. Again, this is a large protein. This receptor is called the cortisol receptor. They bind, recognize each other, and form this complex. This is the active form. Each one separate, separately or alone is not active. Together, they're active. Now, they translocate from the cytoplasm into the nucleus, bind to an enhancer region in a specific gene that increases, that activates the promoter region of that gene and increases transcription. So this is what you call upregulation or induction of genes. More messenger RNA, more messenger RNA is translated to more protein, okay? But the key thing here is to appreciate that uh, there are really three things I want you to appreciate. Specificity first, and that applies to all receptors. If this hormone was estrogen, the receptor for it in here would be a different receptor called the estrogen receptor. Okay, so make sure you understand that. Cortisol binds only to the cortisol receptor. Estrogen binds only to the estrogen receptor. Okay, that's very important across the board with all receptor-mediated sig signaling. Second important feature about steroid receptors is that they invariably cause an increase in gene expression, upregulate gene expression. Uh, and third important feature is that the receptor is always going to be intracellular. Okay? So this is another representation, just so that uh, uh, here you have the hormone coming into the nucleus, finding its receptor. Sometimes uh, th these areas enhance our regions are call, call, called hormone uh, responsive elements in the gene. They bind the gene, activate its transcription, more messenger RNA. What happens to that messenger RNA? For, released in the cytoplasm and uh, into the ER ribosomal complex, and you get more protein expression. 
So if this was an enzyme, you could upregulate that enzyme and produce more of that enzyme for the cell. So that would be the cellular response. Importantly, this is always going to be slower than the activation of all the remaining receptors because it involves multiple steps. Transcription, translation, so this is usually several hours, sometimes days, before you see the effect. Okay, that's one type of receptor, intracellular. If you like this channel, please subscribe. Thank you.